Uh, food trends in Brazil is pretty much similar what's happening in the United States and many markets around the world. So the Brazilians, they are looking for like health food, uh, uh, living because they, they, they want to, to have a, b a better health life. So sugar-free products, gluten-free products and less sodium and also uh, uh, less fat products. Th those organic is those that are major what the Brazilians look like uh, uh, for uh, in terms of food trends. And also you have an aging population that look more uh, the health uh, foods. So they, so there is a, a demand for this type of products in Brazil right now. A lot of importers and distributors, they look like value products so they can uh, have a better price to get into the consumer markets. And so this is uh, what they are looking for right now. And we have uh, exchange rate movement in Brazil that uh, makes uh, a product a little bit more expensive in Brazil right now. On the opposite side, Side, you know, we have a very high-end market in Brazil with a population of over 15 million consumers. They're they're that they're not affected by the economic downturn. So it's a it's a pretty good market for in Brazil as as always. Uh, in terms of uh, industry, I'll say like food ingredients is that's a, that's a hot uh, uh, product in Brazil right now. Yeah, as I mentioned before, uh, you know, uh, health uh, foods, organic food, they have uh, uh, a pretty good market in, in Brazil. And then also uh, Brazilian, they are always looking for uh, snacks, uh, dry fruits, and uh, it's a bakery. It's a pretty good market in, in, in Brazil as well as craft beer, wine. So many, many uh, types of, uh, of foods that it's... Uh, it's uh, there is a, a pretty good consistent market in, in, in Brazil. And Brazil is by far the largest market uh, in Latin America with the population of over 205 million people. So it's a great consumer market. And uh, also Brazil is the seventh largest world economy. And we have a lot of uh, cultural and trade exchange with the United States. The United States is the second uh, Brazil largest trade partner. And, uh, and we have been seeing for the last five years substantial trade surplus uh, for West uh, with Brazil. So, uh, so the size of the market and uh, those cultural uh, uh, our relations uh, between the, the, the two countries make Brazil is, is, is very, very attractive market for U.S. food exporters. And also, if you look in terms of statistics, about uh, over 16% of the Brazilian food importers uh, last year came from the United States. So it's a big market. It's, uh, uh, it's a, Brazil is a continental country and it's by far uh, the largest market in Latin America. Uh, there are a lot of misconceptions about uh, uh, exporting to Brazil. Uh, you know, most of them come uh, because of a lack of knowledge of the market. Uh, I, I can tell that Brazil has a complex tax systems, uh, but it's uh, you when to get into details and understand how it works. Sometimes, you know, the, the West exporters, they just see uh, what tax is going to apply, apply to, 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 to the product. So, uh, so they might believe that the product is not be competitive in the local market. What happens is that the local manufacturers, they also pay tax. And uh, uh, what really matters is the perception and the marketability of your product by the importer. So they're the one that make the decisions. They're the one that's going to tell you have com a competitive product for this market. 
and they are the one that is going to go to pay all the taxes and, and clear the products and, and, and customs. And also, there is a lot of misunderstanding about registration, about ex export food products through Brazil. Most of the products, they don't need registrations. They is just like a straightforward export to Brazil. Uh, and, uh, and most of the time, they, you know, the importer that takes care of everything. So, uh, so it, uh, we need uh, to build more knowledge about the, the Brazilian market so they can have like, a clear picture uh, what their opportunities are. You know, in terms of uh, uh, advice that we have for, you know, small and medium size in Brazil to tap into this market, as I mentioned before, it's uh, is to create uh, uh, some knowledge about the market. That's uh, what we do as uh, in-market representatives for the food export. Uh, so we're there to help and we're there to, to assist you, uh, whatever you'd like to come to Brazil, whatever you'd like to participate in trade missions, uh, uh, trade so uh, participation. And, uh, and we have, uh, food export has a, a lot of uh, very, very good uh, um, uh, uh, service that can provide to the uh, West exporting companies. And we are there to help come to see us and we're going to help you to tap into this market. Uh, okay, one of the uh, things about doing business in Brazil actually is in Latin America is to find the right partner in, in, in Brazil. Like uh, uh, there, uh, you know, th this partner is that one that is going to work with you all the time. He's the one on one they're going to be visiting the, you know, the potential buyers, importers, the, the retail. And he's going to be looking uh, into your products and your product line. So that's uh, something that's very, very important in the Brazilian market uh, is to find uh, the right partner, the right distributor. And, uh, and that's something we can, we can help you to identify those potential partners.